Minecraft's mobile controls are in a really weird spot. On one hand, they've gotten way better from, well, what they used to be, and we've got a whole new control scheme that lets players do things that they weren't able to do before. On the flip side though, these controls still lack some of the basic features that pretty much every other mobile game has. Now, figuring out which features actually need to be added is another difficult part. I mean, I could just sit down for a few days, learn the complete ins and outs of the controls, and carefully formulate some useful suggestions to send to the lovely people at Minecraft. Alternatively though, I could just also outsource the work to my community and get some suggestions like customizable controls. Sounds like a good idea. Ooh, a change perspective button. I like that one too. What about 4 CPS auto clicker? Look, you get the point. Here's some of the best and worst mobile control ideas that should and shouldn't be added to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's get started. So, I put out a community post on YouTube a couple weeks ago asking for the community's best mobile control ideas. Like I said, some of the responses were good, and others were... well, yeah. I mean, it's not too much of a surprise, the mobile community seems pretty split on what they actually want the controls to do, and I learned that firsthand in my last mobile video by getting told I didn't know what I was talking about by half the comment section. You are suck, the mobile control is better too, idiot Minecraft, work hard with that idiot. What's that even supposed to mean? But in all seriousness, I think most people can agree that mobile controls do need to be changed in Minecraft, and in the community post that I put out, I think it can be safely said that over half of the comments were about one single thing. Control customization. Like, no joke, you go to the post, you search the word custom, and you'll find almost every comment is talking about it. The ones that don't probably still mention it as well, but just don't use the word custom in replies. Everyone that's ever played Minecraft with mobile controls wants customization as a feature, and it's kind of surprising that it isn't in the game already. I I mean, you've got games like PUBG Mobile, Brawl Stars, and COD Mobile that have had it for years at this point, and it doesn't really make sense why Minecraft, a game that's definitely on the level of those games, doesn't have it as well. Now I want to say that customization would be so easy to add, I mean, you literally just make it so that you can move the buttons to different places on the screen. But this isn't exactly correct for two reasons. One, I'm not a developer, and maybe this is actually really difficult to make happen, and two, we've seen what happens when Minecraft tries to make changes to their game. There's probably a reason why Minecraft didn't change their mobile controls for seven years straight. They probably went by the mantra of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But in today's age, they kind of are broken, especially if you're playing any sort of crossplay. Minecraft has attempted to fix this by adding a brand new set of controls that let you do a bunch of new things, but even then, you're basically still locked in the layout of those controls that they give you. If we were able to customize those controls, they would make playing on mobile so much of a better experience for everyone. And again, I think everyone can agree that customization is needed. Now, I saw a couple of people mention that size and color customization would also be useful, and they aren't wrong, those would be really cool to have as options, but you can already kind of do that. For size, there's literally a slider that you can use to change the size of the controls, however, it would be a lot better to be able to change the size of individual buttons. In terms of color, that's pretty much already an option. Texture packs exist, and you can use them on any mobile device that has a file manager, and you're able to change the buttons to whatever colors you want, assuming you can do a little bit of image editing. However, However, like said earlier, it would be nice to be able to have the option to do this in-game instead of having to install extra stuff. Now, one final thing about mobile controls, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, Minecraft is probably working on it. You may have seen a screenshot of a very early UI for customizing controls, and I also stumbled across a Reddit comment recently from Minecraft's mobile improvements lead that says that configurable mobile controls are definitely on their to-do list. Couple both of these pieces of evidence together, and it means that Minecraft are working on it. Probably. Moving on though, a lot of the good suggestions that I got from people about mobile controls are adding new buttons to do new things. For example, a toggle perspective button. I don't know about you, but when I'm playing Minecraft on PC, I'm constantly using a toggle perspective button just to get a wider view of things around and behind me. If you want to do this on mobile though, you've got to pause the game, click settings, scroll down to video settings, click the camera perspective button, and then hit which perspective you want. Then you've also got to close out of the menu and unpause your game. Basically, it's an incredibly convoluted process to do a thing that takes a PC player half a second to do. Now, I know that there are, let's say, external apps that let you bind the toggle perspective action to things like your volume button, and there are also even texture packs that let you put the toggle perspective button on your screen, but I feel like it would be such a useful button just to have natively in the game. With customizable controls, you could also put it anywhere on the screen that you want. Another button suggestion that I got that I didn't think much of at the start, but it grew on me, was a pick block button. This has been an option on Java 
and PC Bedrock for a while, where if you click your middle mouse button, basically the scroll wheel you push down on it, it puts whatever block you're looking at in your inventory. Now I know that Mobile and Pocket Edition have historically had really big creative and building communities, and it dawned on me just how useful a button this would be for those types of people. When you're making a build out of tens or hundreds of different blocks, being able to look at a block and get more of it would be really useful. Another button suggestion that just makes sense is a drop one button. On PC or controller, you can simply just drop one of whatever you're holding in your hand, whereas on mobile, you've got to hold the inventory slot down for like three seconds and then it drops the whole stack of whatever you're holding. There's not really much to say about this button, once again, it just kind of makes sense as one that needs to be added. I don't know why it doesn't exist already. One of the more unique button suggestions that I got was a quick change layout button. Now on mobile, you can only speed or jump bridge with one specific type of control layout. The one with the crosshair where you can hold down the place block button. In the layout with the circle where you can tap anywhere on your screen, it just tries to break the block instead of continuously placing. Now, if there were a button that would let you quickly change to a different layout, you could use one layout to bridge and the other to PvP with. I'm sure there would be lots of other uses for this type of button, but that's just the one that I could think of off the top of my head. Now, the last button suggestion that I have is one that really wouldn't be useful yet, but will definitely be needed in the future. You see, some people have figured out how to kind of dual wield stuff on PC Bedrock, and that means that dual wielding in all of Bedrock is probably in the works. That said, it's not confirmed yet, but if it were to be added, obviously there would need to be a way to dual wield on mobile. You would need a button to put items in your offhand, and while you could just put the item in the inventory slot for offhand, it would make it so much easier if there were just a button to be able to do it. A potential drawback to this though is that there's quite literally not enough buttons on controller to be able to offhand stuff, and so something that I worry about is that there might just not be an offhand button in all of Minecraft Bedrock because you can't do it on controller and they want to keep it fair. It's not like mobile controls are actually fair in crossplay though, so we'd just have to see. Now something that I'm sure some of you guys have realized already is that if more buttons were added to mobile Minecraft, the screen is going to become so cluttered. I mean, there's already five buttons on the side in the new control layout, and we just discussed adding five more. That's going to be ten buttons taking up the entire right hand side of your screen. Customizable controls can obviously help alleviate this a little bit, but it's still going to lead to the screen feeling extremely cluttered. Something that would have to be figured out is if the extra phone functionality that these buttons bring would even be worth the clutter that they bring to the screen as well. Just something to think about. Now, one final good suggestion that I got was a smaller one, but it's an option to hide buttons when they're not in use to potentially reduce the clutter on the screen. Basically, you don't see the buttons unless you're pressing down on them. It would make the controls a lot more visually pleasing for sure, but a potential caveat is that it might also lead to some misinputs. If you can't see what you're clicking, you might just click the wrong thing. It is still a potential solution to the clutter problem though, so who knows. Now, while I got a lot of good suggestions and feedback for this video, I also got a lot of not so good ones. Here are some of the worst suggestions that I got, and I hope that Minecraft does not consider or add these ones. First up, the one you heard in the intro. Allow us to toggle a setting where the attack button will continuously attack attack when held down. This will allow the casual player to aim and attack at the same time. It will also be good in preparation for the combat v2 as it adds hold to attack continuously, limited to 4 CPS I believe. Now look, I know that playing on mobile is a big disadvantage especially when you're playing crossplay against PC or controller players. But a 4 CPS auto clicker where all you have to do is aim, do you know how much of an advantage that would be? There's a reason why auto clicking isn't allowed on servers, it's because it just completely takes all the skill out of fighting. Some other suggestions that I got just made absolutely zero sense at all. Make that their PvP controls mod BC that would help a lot TBH. I'm not even gonna pretend to know what this means if you know or if this was your comment you can try explaining it better than me, but uh yeah next one. I think if you have auto sprint on, the buttons on the right should be in a square shape. This is one of the suggestions where it just really isn't needed, there's no point and the buttons are already square anyways. I don't see how this would help or hurt you, but I think it would just be a waste of developers time doing this. Next up, I would remove them completely. Honestly, kinda fair, kinda based. Who cares about mobile players anyways? On the flip side to that though, this guy says the ability to have a better chance of winning. I think these two people need to fight and whoever actually wins gets their suggestion added. Now the final bad suggestion we're gonna talk about is the one that I think might actually be the worst out of all of them that I got. I actually had two people suggest it and it was aim assist. Obviously yes, I get that it can be hard to aim on a small phone screen, and I know that 
that some AAA games have it, like Fortnite on mobile and controller, but how is that going to work on Minecraft? What is it going to lock onto? How would you even use it properly? This guy even says to have it slightly on in the non-split touch PvP, where the crosshair isn't on the screen and you can tap anywhere to hit. I guess maybe you could use a button to turn the aim assist on, but even then, that just sounds so, so broken and out of place. And no matter how you think about it, I just don't think it would work in Minecraft at all. If you want to see my thoughts on the new mobile controls versus the old mobile controls though, I recommend clicking the video that just showed up on screen. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.